Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's date is Thursday, July 2nd. This is Rick with Hit and Run Candlesticks. I want to welcome you here to our morning trade idea watch list. Okay, let's start out by looking at the market just a little bit, looking at the SPY here. Um, it is 6.55 my time. This is central. The market is not open yet. A couple hours to go. It looks like the futures are up just a tad. Uh, if everything hangs right where it is, it uh, looks like we're going to open up somewhere around 312.84, 312.85. Remember, we've got some um, uh, unemployment numbers coming out today. That's pretty important. And tomorrow, uh, there is no trading. Tomorrow is a holiday. So keep that in mind on your trading today. All right. Let's peek at SPY. We've had three very nice days up. Our red green indicator our bull bear indicator um, long short indicator i've heard some people call it uh, has turned green now by two dots here we are above the t-line that's the black line right here now i want to uh, push this into a three-day chart i'm going to push this there okay we're looking at a three-day chart or a 130 minute chart is what it is and i think you can clearly see the possible bullish W pattern that we're forming. We've got a nice uh, low high and a higher low down here. We've got a long center point of the W uh, right in through here, pretty long. You can see how price is trying to work up toward it. Um, there's a big possibility that we reach that 314.35 area, uh, which would be these um, uh, these points right there. A lot of little touches right in there. A lot of little touches. So it's very, very possible that we reach up there. And then it's very possible that we can make it to the 315.65 area. Basically, the high of this candle right uh, here uh, on 616. Now, if we can't get through this area, that could be uh, a resistance area that the bulls cannot handle uh, and could push us all the way back. We could end up back down here uh, around this 297, uh, around this 297 area, uh, maybe 299, something like that, somewhere around this area here. And of course, if we are able to break out, if the bulls are able to take charge, uh, and get through the 314, 315 areas, then there is a real possibility we come up here and take on that uh, gap. Uh, price comes up, more than likely there'll be a little consolidation, and then maybe we attack that gap, and who knows, the highs up here. So that's what it's kind of looking like, and it's all depending, uh, dependent on whether the bulls can get through the 314, 30, 314, 6, 315, 60 area up here. So let's watch price action. That's very important. Let's watch the price action and let's watch what it does uh, in our trend as long as we can keep a trend going. Here's a daily chart. We've started a new red green or trend indicator, trend indicator trend now. As long as that can trend can hold up uh, and price action doesn't come down through it creating a sell signal uh, and then a uh, little fear comes in the market and starts hopping onto that the fear train, uh, that's when we might have a problem. Uh, so right now, we're looking pretty good. Market's up. Market's up. Uh, on VXX, I trade VXX often, and on the 15-minute chart, real time, I do see right now it is creating a double bottom. Whether or not that pans out to anything, I don't know. Here, we, we probably look at that chart. Uh, let me go to that 15 minute. Um, let's make this real time. We'll do that. There we go. So you can see that double bottom that we're creating on that 15 minute chart. Nice little double bottom. Also, uh, yesterday, um, 15 minute, and let's take this off. Uh, there we go. Yesterday, there was a pretty good little. Uh, doji put in yesterday. So we want to watch that. If for some reason we start trading above that doji and get through the red dots here, 
That could turn the 15-minute chart just a tad bullish. If that turns a tad bullish, then we could see that market pull back a little bit. Of course, if VXX stays down below the black line and the red dots, bulls may have a heyday. So go bulls, go. All right, let's take a look at a few charts. Um, first one we're going to look at is Twillo. Hey, I'm, I'm often asked... Um, how I find my charts, uh, how much time do I spend uh, looking for charts. And, you know, there was a day when I did. I, I would spend an awful lot of time banging through charts. And I think people should do that. Uh, for There's some education value in it, looking at charts. Um, but I used to you, you look for chart picks uh, two, three hours a night, morning. Oh, it was crazy, weekends. Um, but nowadays, I don't do that. Uh, I find it's much more efficient. It's much easier just to use the uh, uh, scanner that I use, and uh, you can if the, you can learn more about the scanner uh, at LiveTradingAlerts.com. Um, they have some good instructional videos over there and and uh, whatnot. Um, but anyway, that that's how I pick all my charts. Um, uh, maybe throughout the day, I'll see stocks popping up on the scanner, and I've got several windows. I'm just putting two up here right now. Uh, a couple different breakout windows, a three-eighths trap windows, rounded bottom breakout windows, things like that. Uh, MACD windows. Um, so uh, anyway, like I said, this is how I do it. I can pick them out through the day. Um, I just click on this and it comes up, comes up on the screen over here on TC2000. Uh, I flag them. I can uh, shut my computer off at night, get up in the morning, and open up uh, the live trading alerts uh, uh, scanner, and the stocks are still there right where we left them last night. So I can come back and look at charts that have fallen into our uh, chart patterns uh, that we have set up. Uh, anyway, that's how I do it. Um, also, I want to answer a question of a subscriber to um, to the uh, YouTube channel. I want to thank you, by the way. Subscriber asked me if I still thought Dell was bearish. Uh, there was some news, I guess, yesterday, and they just want to know if I still... I'm sorry, bullish. Boy, hope I didn't jinx it there. They want to know if I was still bullish on UPS. And yes, I am providing the charts do what the charts are supposed to do. In other words... I, I look at charts. I don't much care about the news, don't much pay attention to what uh, uh, news people say about charts or anything like that. Just follow the news. So Dell, Dell has rallied up to a uh, resistance line here. here where, here's where it was. It pulled back for a nice entry and it's pulled up to the entry line and it's giving us a little, a little trouble yesterday, which is not surprising, you know, at the resistance line. But if Dell can break out and then prove, come back a, a little bit, show that it can it can hang above that resistance line, creating support, and then buyers start stepping in. Yes, I am. Uh, I am still bullish on Dell. Now, if it can't get through this 54, 99, 55 area, then I'm not so bullish on it but it only if it breaks out and it pulls back. All right, let's look at today's trade ideas. Uh, <clears throat> Twillow. Uh, Twillow had a nice breakout after a uh, consolidation, a little bit of a run. It broke out of this high over here. It consolidated a little bit more, and now it's breaking out uh, over its recent highs of about 221.40. Uh, Twillow still looks bullish. Um, an ideal trade for me would be uh, an inside day. Uh, we may or may not get that today. Looks like it's opening up uh, above yesterday's candle, but it's still early in the morning. Um, it, it could easily come back and give us a little little tap down inside there, inside day. So I would be looking for an inside day trade. So what I'm going to do is draw the buy box in there like that. When it pulls in, I'll get alerted. Uh, make my choice whether to buy it, and we'll look for, what, 1027. We could see 1037.47 real easy on Twillow with bullish follow-through. Uh, 
another one I'm looking at and for those that have asked for uh, lower price stocks here you go uh, BCRX we've actually talked about this recently last few days uh, nice big gap up well here it's pulled back and now it's moved right into that buy box area uh, very typical of a chart we might look for uh, we've gone from the red uh, trendicator dots, red green dots, to green, showing that our our trading trend is pointing up now. Uh, price action has rallied up and pulled back. So now all we're looking for is an entry and then follow through, maybe up to that 560, then to six and a quarter. By the way, when I say look for an entry, yesterday would have been a perfect entry. Uh, in my book. I did not buy it, uh, but yesterday would have been a good entry. Follow through off of yesterday also would be good entry. So uh, if we put, uh, let's put this line right there. There we go. So follow through bullishness over uh, yesterday's candle. That would be a nice entry as well. Nice bullish and golf on, on the following candle here. Yesterday bullish and golf. Uh, now, N-O-W, N-O-W, here's another one. Been trending up, slowly grinding. It gets to this little, maybe a little, little consolidation area. I mean, it slowly, look at that. It just grinds and grinds and grinds. Then it comes back a little bit. It settles down, and we have a bullish engulf followed by follow-through. This is still an excellent-looking chart. I'm going to delete those little things. Um, we have broken out right there so above 407.95 would be where I am bullish let's watch for um, a little bit of a pullback um, yeah let's watch for a little bit of a pullback from the gap I just noticed this thing is gapping up so let's keep an eye on it we can always trade the gap watch the first 15 minutes and then trade off that first 15 minutes that's how I would trade the gap it also might just kind of come on back a little bit and give us a better entry down in here in several days uh, but so far uh, NOW that's a good looking chart those that are in it already congratulations way to go hit and run candlestick members um, for those that are not in it we just have to be patient wait for that pullback or like I said you could trade the gap uh, using that 15 minute uh, chart um, ATVI ATVI had a killer day yesterday uh, on some pretty good volume, and uh, I the, the important thing here, I think, with uh, ATVI is notice that we have a trend. There's some basic, basic trade techniques that we use over here at Hit Run Candle 6 to trade the Road to Wealth account, um, and the Road to Wealth account speaks for itself. I mean, if you haven't ever seen it, uh, check below in the... Um, um, in the text below the video, I'll post a link so you can see the account. Um, you can see here that we have broken out. So let's pull this up now. So we've got a trend. You can see that we're up, we've broken out of these highs. Well, here's our rally up. We've slid back down. We really got into a uh, what we call a bull trap, a bull trap right in here. And then the bulls just took it up. So we have a nice breakout here. Let's put another line right in there. Uh, anything, I'm actually going to lower that line. There we go. Uh, anything above 76, 70, 70, 75, I'm going to look at as a bullish chart. Uh, I would be looking for a entry in that. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we're opening up a little high, but that doesn't mean that sometimes today it pulls back and we still have Monday, all of next week. We could simply pull back in here, get pick up a nice little entry, and then play this chart. Hey, I mentioned the bull trap here. Uh, my uh, my good friend and partner um, is doing a three eighths trap class on July fifteenth. Um, well worth it. Well worth it. I'll also drop a link in the uh, text below the video. You know, there's you click on a button there, and there's more to see below the video, um, if you didn't know that. And I'll I'll put that information in there on the 3H trap. July 15, 2020, coming up. He'll be doing that. 
PayPal. Uh, PayPal. Uh, I'm holding PayPal myself. Uh, PayPal has moved sideways here after a nice run. We broke out. Uh, I'm looking for a little bit higher on PayPal. Looks like we're going a little bit higher pre-market anyway. Let's see if it can move even higher than that uh, for the day. Uh, another one is Zoo. Z-U. Another one of those uh, that's uh, under $30 for those looking under $30. Uh, you can see Zoo has been in a nice bullish trend. It pulled back, gave back a little bit. If we put a line right underneath that uh, uh, bullish engulf, actually a little belt hole that turned bullish engulf, you can see that we never made it back down to test those lows. So from this point here, we've got a low, high, we do have a higher low. We have a bullish engulf here. We're going to put another line up. So what we would be looking for at this point is trading above 1290, a trading above this candle that gives us that confirmation. If you are an aggressive trader, and if price action gets down into this area, it would certainly make sense for an entry. Uh, otherwise, maybe hold off till it, till it uh, gets above this level right in here. And then you can look for a trade and we can start picking off some targets. Um, very important, very, very important. Whenever you buy a stock, make sure you put a, uh, a, a protective stop in there. Um, there is nothing worse than to have your money gone just because you don't put a stop. You know, just because you, you feel that, hey, this chart is going up and by God, it's going up. But yet, maybe it doesn't follow through. Maybe it comes down. But by golly, this chart's got to come up and it keeps going down. And this is where you want to put your protective stop. You decide, your trader, your money, you decide where you might want to put uh, a stop. There are several places and each trader might treat it slightly different. So very, very important. Put protective stops on. Um, LABU. Sorry, this turned out to be a longer video than normal. LABU, putting in a nice bullish J-hook uh, chart pattern. Again, you can see the, uh, the green trend we have here. Um, you can see this blue line that we have broken out and now we've pulled back and we're tested we're in that there we are that but uh bull three eighths trap uh setting up right now watch for positive trading and uh this 60 dollars stock could possibly get to 80 dollars uh pretty quick here um wait for the right setups we like the we we love the three eighths trap um, I love the 3 h trap and then buy on positive trading. Um, so hang with us. You'll learn about that 3 h trap. It is a pretty cool setup. Uh, BIDU. I'm, I'm liking BIDU. It's gapped up. Here it's pulled back. We've waited and waited and waited. And we've been patient. I think maybe now it's time uh, to take a look at BIDU. This, again, all these come off of our alerts. And uh, that, that's how I pick them. Uh, chart patterns, look for those trending charts, look, look for those rises, those pullbacks here. So what I'm looking for is breakout. We start to get that breakout over that blue line. Um, looking for a higher move up into the 130 area. Uh, aggressive traders, it sure, you know, I, I certainly would get it if you're buying in this area here uh, between the two lines. I get that for aggressive traders. Stop anything below this area right there, uh, this 119 area, I would consider a bum trade. So I wouldn't want to be in it. Remember, use your stops. Uh, BBBY also may be setting up here. Typical, typical, typical chart pattern. Uh, up, back, up, back, up. Okay, this one came back just a little further than we like. Below the trend indicator, we don't like anything back above. We do like, so it starts over again right here. Low to a high, to higher low, to higher high, to higher low. There you go. Just like that. So just looking for this to continue. If it does continue, we'll be around to catch it and pick up a little bit of Bed Bath Beyond on positive trading, uh, looking for a nice profit in it. Okay, the last one I have here is Spot. Uh, now, Spot, that this thing has been up. A ton. It truly, truly has. 
Uh, it's been up an awful lot. Uh, let's get that one out of the way right there. Let's just put this one up. I'm just going to lay this right in here. Uh, so on spot, we've got a nice little pop here, uh, a little bit of profit taking uh, in the chart. Uh, this is pretty simple. We start to see that profit taking dry up and the bulls come in. We might look at spot for a trade. So look at spot for a trade. All righty. Hey, again, I want to say good morning to everybody. Good trading to everybody. Thank you very, very much for watching our video. And please, if you'd like to get... Uh, a lot of cool things here this past week for subscribers. We opened up our room Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The room is now closed to members. Uh, but for subscribers of YouTube, we open the room to uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and let you come in. So thank you for everyone that did come in the room and check it out. Uh, we'll be doing that in the near future. Also, we have a few cool things coming up for subscribers uh, uh, coming, coming up here pretty quick. So. Remember to subscribe. This is Rick Sadler with Hidden Run Candlesticks. Have a great day of trading. We'll see everyone.